tomorrow, May 1st, there's this big talk. About, you're already nodding your head, aren't you? Not just talk. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I'm going to talk about the Silver Squeeze, part two. And I'm going to announce a tremendously generous giveaway sponsored by Silver Gold Bull and the folks at Wall Street Silver on Reddit. Big shout out to Jim Lewis and the gang on Wall Street Silver. They are doing just a phenomenal job getting the word out about physical silver and the need to stack it hard. This Saturday, we had an effort to short squeeze the silver market. And while I went in on Friday to Tim Marshner's local coin shop, and I did my part. <laughs> Look at all this. Ah, oh, love it. Silver is emerging to a whole new generation of stackers, thanks to Wall Street Silver. Millennials, Gen Zs, they're starting to get woke to the manipulation of the most shorted asset on the planet, silver. Now, I am going to give you a chance to win this incredible silver bar, 10 ounces, triple nine fine silver. Look at this. To the moon, baby. Oh, thank you so much, silver, gold, bull. This, this bar is still available uh, on their website uh, as of the making of this video. I'll include a link in the description below. Check it out. Ape Strong, Silverbacks, Diamond Hands. Yeah. Oh, man, that is going to be fun to give away. I will give you the information at the end of this video. You're not going to want to miss it. You need to watch every minute of this video. Share it with as many people as you can. And by all means, smash the like. Okay, that, that really helps the algorithm too. So right now, we're going to hear from Tim on his uh, opinion of the Silver Squeeze, and then I'll give you my thoughts as well. The Silver Squeeze yeah. 2.0, the second round. Yeah. What do you think about the Silver Squeeze? I think that makes more sense than the first round. Uh, if you're playing against the Comex, you're going to lose. Mm. If, you, um, if you send uh, 400,000 people to buy 100 ounces of silver, that might have an effect. I've already talked to maybe half a dozen people about it, and um, I have enough silver to cover you know, their 100 ounces. Uh, I think the whole squeeze will, the success or failure will depend on how many people are out there buying silver. Um, because if they're going to coin shops or pawn shops or wherever they can find it, um, there's, there's a limited amount of inventory that mm -hmm. they can, you know, possibly get a hold of. Um, I know the wholesaler was very busy delivering silver this week. <laughs> So that must mean a lot of dealers in the New England area are getting calls, you know, to have silver on hand. It'll cause a blip in the retail market. Oh. Will it make a difference in the price of silver? Nope, not a bit. This is a very big country. And um, even though we're losing maybe a coin shop every day, there are thousands and thousands of coin shops. That's why if you, you know, when uh, JP Morgan, I think it was, it shorted 150 million ounces of silver. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a naked short because you can't prove that that is available. Um, but anything less than that, it's it's available. It's out there somewhere. So, you know, they could probably do that today and they could probably prove that it's out there. But over time, are we seeing a, maybe a, a, a longer term, a, a slow motion squeeze, if you will, with silver? Well, you know, you know how much silver goes through this place. And we were talking yeah. thousands of ounces every week. And um, how much of a difference is it going to make? I think for some of the coin shops that don't do the business we do, um, they may run out of inventory. Um, you know, we may run out of inventory just because we get so much traffic for uh, silver. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not going to cause a shortage. It's just going to make, make it... You know, everybody's going to sell out one day and then just go get more.
I bought uh, 200 Silver Eagles today, and mm. when the wholesaler told me what the price was, I went, wow. I said, is that the, really the price? He said, he said, I wouldn't buy them. That's what the wholesaler said to me. With the paper market, you're going up, up against the big guys with hundreds of billions of dollars to spend. Um, you know, I'm a little surprised that one of the hedge funds took a hit, took a big hit. Um, I mean, that's that's really unusual because usually they're dealing in you know, hundreds of billions of dollars. Awesome. Thanks, Tim. Wasn't that great? I love to hear from Tim Marshner of the Coin and Stamp Shop in Manchester, New Hampshire. He knows his stuff. Primarily looking at the silver short squeeze from a retail perspective. I don't blame him. He's been a very successful dealer over the past three decades. He's got a lot of great legacy knowledge on silver and gold demand and also with the COMEX. And I think that he's mostly right in regard to the impact of the silver squeeze on Saturday, especially on retail sales, physical silver prices in the short term. That's important. I think it is going to be a blip. I don't think spot is going to fluctuate much, but some retail stores may sell out for a while. I think he's also right about the COMEX. It is a powerful player that is supported by U.S. government sanctioned manipulation. It's not going to succumb easily. We need to remember that. We also need to remember that the paper and the physical markets are completely disjoined. And people buying from Tim or Silver Gold Bull or any other dealer are going to have little effect on the spot price this week. That's my opinion. We'll see soon. And while the huge disparity between the COMEX inventories and the open positions theoretically present an opportunity to squeeze that silver market, it's a huge challenge. A sizable percentage of COMEX silver investors, at least on the long side of the contracts, use leverage. They borrow money on their investment. And here's the key point. The COMEX regularly changes the margin requirements on leveraged investments. They play games, guys. In the event of a large supply squeeze that threatens to push the spot price up, the COMEX could impose a major increase in the margin requirements. They could do a margin call that would force many long parties to sell off some or maybe even all of their positions to the short sellers. See, the game is rigged, folks. The COMEX could even stop a lot of deliveries of physical silver. They could deliver cash settlements. They could deliver shares in a silver ETF. They could deliver contracts in the London silver market. Now, I know Tim doesn't play games with premiums either, but a lot of LCS dealers do. I think you know that, right? And if the retail shortage that we might have continues you know, for weeks or months, you could see premiums go through the roof. Now, where things could become a challenge for the COMEX in the long term is very interesting. And I, and, and I want to highlight a chart tweeted out by Jim Lewis, a.k.a. Ditch the Deep State on Wall Street Silver. It was even shouted out by Mike Maloney recently on the Tweet of the Day. It shows the tracking of the COMEX versus the Sprott PSLV. You know, I got in on the PSLV ETF back in February, and it is the only silver or gold ETF that I hold. It's fully backed by physical silver, one for one. And it's remarkable to see what appears to be a draining, if you will, of tens of millions of ounces from the COMEX into the Sprott Physical Trust. We all must understand that this is a long-term battle. Nobody should expect fireworks in May. Even Craig Hemke of TF Metals Report, who started this whole May 1st effort, said that the COMEX had enough silver for May. So hang in there, okay? Be a long-term stacker. 
of silver. However, if the trend continues, I think it could catch on fire. And if it does, I think it could spill into increased industrial demand for delivery, and that delivery just may overwhelm the COMEX at some point. I also think a groundswell of retail demand could help as well. The question is, how long before that happens? How long can the COMEX employ their delivery demand shenanigans before it just blows up in their face? Anyway, let's talk about the giveaway, okay? This, again, is sponsored by Silver Gold Bull. I just love the design on this. Man, so cool. But before I tell you how to enter, please note that this giveaway follows the YouTube Terms of Service and it is only open to those in the U.S. and Canada. If you win, you got to contact me to accept your prize. Email me at yankeestacking at gmail.com. Full details are in the description of the video. So this is how you enter. You must like this video and you have to leave a comment on this video with two things in it. Hashtag WSS, all right? Wall Street Silver. And the second thing you have to put in the comment to be eligible is Silver Gold Bull, the sponsor of this giveaway. You can leave as many comments as you want, but only one comment per person is gonna be entered. I'll draw the winner via a comment picker live on May 27th during my Ask Yankee live stream going to be a lot of fun. Hope you can be there. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. This is so cool.